Hey guys, welcome to another digital media trends update. So on the last couple of updates, we've been talking about audio and we've been talking about Clubhouse. And so as different things have emerged over the last week or so, um, Clubhouse is gaining speed. A lot more people are actually being invited onto the app. And I noticed like there's so many more rooms, so many more people talking inside of these rooms, so many more topics, so many more industries. So if you're not familiar with Clubhouse, it's an audio only app. And so you'd have to actually be invited in because it's not open yet to the general public, but it is now gaining speed. A lot of different folks are on it and um, you have celebrities who are in these rooms. You have high level um, you know, tech experts. You have people from all different industries, all different levels getting in these rooms, creating rooms, anybody can actually create rooms. And, um, you know, I made an example or like a um, comparison that this is almost like the party lines from back in the day where you would call a phone number and then there'd be like a hundred people on the line. And then you would just kind of like talk and, you know, connect with people. This is a little bit different. I think you can learn a lot. It's very, um, I've actually found it to be very educational because I've had access to people and topics and conversations very interesting. Um, there's so much possibility inside of it. So as this has gained a lot of steam, what has happened, um, Twitter, you know, in the last week or so has exploded with more of what they're calling Twitter spaces. And it's very compatible to Clubhouse, but obviously with Twitter, you have your built-in network and all of your followers and a lot of the people, maybe you participate in Twitter chats, maybe you use your Twitter for when you're at conferences, maybe you're an expert, maybe you're a medical expert, if you're a government entity, your education. Um, I think the possibilities of this is a little bit more interesting on Twitter. Now, they're calling it Twitter spaces. So what happens is if you're on Twitter now and you see the top uh, areas where you know, it looks like those are your fleet areas because, you know, fleets was kind of like their stories version there. There is now like this extra bubble around the story section, and that is the Twitter spaces. So in this last week, I actually participated in the Twitter spaces town hall where all of the Twitter developers were on asking a lot of questions, asking people for their feedback. And that's what's so amazing is that you have the developers speaking to the consumers of Twitter, like one-on-one, -on -one, very direct, asking for feedback, asking for what the user experience is like. Um, you can't get any more focus group than that. And it's pretty amazing. The experience has been really cool as far as the type of people I've been connecting with. And um, so I think there's more possibility inside of Twitter spaces. And what is also kind of coming down the pike, which I, I think I talked about, um, you know, probably, or no, I posted it on LinkedIn, but there was also another um, discussion happening where Facebook put out this announcement saying, or Mark Zuckerberg went on, um, on one of his platforms, whether it was Instagram or Facebook, and he said that uh, Facebook's actually looking at doing this. Now, Facebook has rooms, right? So if you're on Facebook and you look at the top, you, even for mobile, you can see that it says room. So you can do it like almost a breakout room, but it's video based. Instagram is the same. You can do a lot of video based um, breakout room type things. But I think what's appealing to the regular consumer right now is the fact that these audio apps allow you to have... Um, you know, like I can listen, I don't have to be video ready if I want to participate in a conversation. And not only that, and I think a lot of us are on video fatigue, just because I believe we're all like on Microsoft Teams, we're on Zoom, we're constantly recording, we're doing Instagram Reels, we're doing TikTok, we're on, we're definitely on video fatigue, even though it's like the top element to any of these platforms, it's the top way of um, consumers are consuming. Um, but I think what's appealing to this is you being able to participate. It's like a podcast. So you can listen in and then I can do 50 other things. And I think this is what lends this like educational vibe to what these different tools are, are kind of like giving for people. Now, I think there's room 
for Clubhouse, even though Clubhouse is a little dicey, you really have to navigate or know how to navigate the conversations. You have to know where things are a little bit more credible as opposed to, you know, I've, I've been in some rooms where I've heard some people just really like who love to listen to themselves talk. I mean, there are definitely some rooms like that, but there are a lot of great rooms, medical, health, education, uh, marketing, you name it, it is on there. And I think it's an amazing tool. And I, I just think that there's a lot of room for everyone to kind of grow. So Clubhouse is great. Twitter has its own demographic. It's B2B. And I think B2B will be amazing for a lot of those folks on Twitter, myself included. I'm so excited. I was in like 50 Twitter spaces um, between yesterday and last yesterday morning and last night. Uh, I didn't miss an opportunity just because I wanted to hear what everyone's thinking, what everyone's saying, what the feedback is, what maybe someone else is thinking of user experience. You know, like, what do we all want from a consumer standpoint? What can we use it for? How can we use it? How can we better use it? And, um, you know, and I think, again, you know, Facebook dominates. A lot of times I think we're in denial about the fact that Facebook dominates, but Facebook definitely dominates a lot of the spaces. So if they incorporate this inside of what they're doing, it might open up some more possibility for building your community. So if you're a Facebook admin, this might be a great way to collect a lot of your group and to be able to talk if you don't wanna do a Facebook Live or if you don't wanna be doing Q&A with the live video component. I am a community manager for different Facebook groups and I definitely am excited to see if they do introduce the audio component. If they do, that would help a lot. That would help a lot and I would use it a lot. So let's see where we go. This was the hot topic. I introduced it on my last Digital Trends. I kind of previewed it on the first Digital Trends video I did, but today we are full force going into Clubhouse, Twitter spaces. Um, also, here's a little note what will differentiate these different apps. So if you don't know this, and this is more like techie stuff. So Clubhouse is only available on iPhones only. Twitter Spaces, they made an announcement yesterday that they're going to make Twitter Spaces available on iPhone and Android. No one has that yet. So I think there's the first step in kind of dominating the space. And that's happening in March very soon. Um, so we'll see what happens with Facebook. We'll see how they incorporate it between Facebook and Instagram. And you never know, will TikTok, Snapchat, will everybody else get in the game somehow, or will another app emerge? So if you have any thoughts on this, or if you want to just maybe talk about um, what you're experiencing, or if you've been in each clubhouse or Twitter spaces, leave me a comment and let me know um, your thoughts. And then um, I hope to be doing a lot more Instagram lives, Clubhouse. I have a Clubhouse scheduled um, very soon for a lot of um, my different networks and colleagues inside of healthcare, inside of marketing, and inside of media and film production. So stay tuned. Check my LinkedIn page as often as you um, are on, and I'll be sure and promote it out. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.